In decades past, turtles were probably the most popular reptile that there were in the entire hobby. And over time, we've realized why they're not such great pets for everybody. And today we're going to go over the top five reasons why turtles might not be great pets for everybody. Or maybe they're great for you. I'm Adam. This is Buggy. You're watching Wiccan's Wicked Reptiles. Stick around. trip today to get some turtles we got mappy the map turtle very creative name and we've got buggy the yellow belly slider because i guess it used to bug another turtle now i know that turtles shouldn't live in the same enclosure if they're different species most of the time this isn't this is kind of frowned upon but buggy and mappy we're getting to the top five in a second just a little backstory here buggy and mappy lived in the same enclosure for 20 years. I didn't realize this. My buddy Ryan, who's also a comedian, we did a little vlog that you can watch on Patreon up here if you want uh, about the whole experience of going to get these things. Ryan and his wife, they just had a baby. They needed to move, so they needed to rehome them. And I'm the crazy reptile guy, so I got some turtles. And I didn't realize that Ryan and his wife kept these guys for 13 years, and before that, Ryan's wife's friend had them for seven. So they're at least 20 years old. So we're going to go over enclosure size and stuff, but let's just start off with number five. Reason number five that turtles do not make great pets for everybody, you can't really handle them. Well, I mean, you can, you can handle them, but it just is a little bit stressful for them. You shouldn't handle them all the time. Like for example, if you wanted to handle them for this video, then you probably could. So I will briefly, this is a yellow belly slider and this is uh, this is buggy. Now Buggy's actually in pretty good shape. A lot of the times when I get a call, hey, I can't take care of this animal anymore, or I don't want to, uh, Ryan and his wife took really good care of these animals, but she does have a little bit of abnormalities in the shell. I think that maybe it was just something like they didn't have enough UVB. Um, but the handling part, like I'm handling her very gently, and this is something that's not gonna happen a lot. So, and she was kind of dry actually, because she was on her basking spot. And it's true. She probably doesn't enjoy this too much, as you can tell, which is why we're going to keep this very brief. And we'll just show you a bunch of footage of her and Mappy roaming around like we let them do. I think that with handling, you're better off with something like, I don't know, a bearded dragon or a ball python or something like that. Uh, turtles aren't really great for handling. And this is kind of a minor thing because a lot of people like things like emerald green tree boas or anoles or day geckos, which you wouldn't probably handle in normal cases anyway. And of course, there's that thing that everyone wants me to talk about, salmonella. 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 And although it is true, you can get salmonella from turtles, as you can with every other reptile, it's very uncommon. In fact, the only way that you can is if that animal carries salmonella. And that's a whole topic for a different video of how that could possibly happen. But it's a very small likelihood. And although there are laws where turtles are not allowed to be sold in parts of the states, if they're under four inches because kids might put them in their mouth and they have salmonella and the kid will die, it's very uncommon that this is gonna happen and something that I don't really worry too much about, although I still do wash my hands when I'm done touching turtles or any animal really. So if you're down with not touching your animal, maybe turtles are for you and let's move on to number four. Turtles live forever. Okay, not forever. They're not Benjamin Button like aging backwards, but they do live for a quite a long time and we're talking between 20 and 70 years a lot of the time. Now tortoises is a different video, although tortoises are turtles, sort of. Tortoises can live for longer than that, but turtles, like aquatic turtles or semi-aquatic turtles, most of the time are gonna live up to 70 years, probably less. But still, even a 20-year-old animal, which is a lot of reptiles and several birds as well, I understand this, so this might not be a huge thing to consider. I've got lots of reptiles that will probably live for 20 or 30 years if handled correctly and cared for correctly. Heck, even ball pythons, the record is 47 years. So, I mean, that is, you know, a half of the lifespan of a human. It's a long time. Turtles though, they take a little bit more care and we're gonna get into that. A ball python, in my opinion, is way easier to take care of than a turtle. So, take into consideration that not only do they live a long time, but that means you're gonna have to be doing some of the next things that are reasons why they might not be good for everybody for a very long time. And that brings us to number three, water conditions. Now, you've heard me talk about this before. If you have seen any of my videos about axolotls, for example, water conditions are very difficult to create and, and to maintain, I guess, is the better way to say it. And for that reason, my girlfriend, Michelle, set this entire tank up and she took care of the water and she made the pH, sure the pH was correct 
and everything was a-okay. I'm not the water guy. I'm the make sure that dry land animals guy in this house, right? So my girlfriend is helping me kind of learn a little bit more. And I'll be honest, I'm not the greatest turtle expert. It does take some time to get used to because although I've had reptiles for over 10 years, well over a decade, turtles are a different animal, obviously and literally, but they're just very different in the way that you have to take care of them. And with a ball python or a, you know, Euromastix or Sudan play the lizard, whatever, changing the water is as simple as dumping a bowl and then refilling the bowl with water. That's it. With these guys, it's not like that. You have to make sure that you have some facility, like this is a 50 gallon tank, which we'll get into, should be a little bit larger for two of these guys, but it's difficult. You have to use like a, like a siphon and fill it up and then you have to fill like a container first so you can treat the water and it's just, yeah, it's a little bit more difficult to take care of water than it is to take care of like a substrate like an eco earth. And number two, this is a really big one. It's a really big, really complicated enclosure in comparison to a lot of other things. So it, let's let's be honest, it's not rocket science. It doesn't take rocket appliances to take care of turtles, but it's more difficult than a leopard gecko, okay? Now these guys, uh, generally for a turtle, it's believed that every one inch of shell is 10 gallons of water, basically is how you should be keeping them. So uh, because buggy is seven inches, that's 70 gallons just for that turtle. And then for Mappy, that's a four inch turtle. And he is, uh, he's a male by the way, look at him, he's very handsome. He'll need another 40 gallons if you're using this. So in, that would mean that they need about 110 gallons. This is only 50 gallons, so they need more space. Now they lived in this enclosure for literally 20 years, which is older than some people watching this video, I would imagine. So I think that I'm gonna keep them like this for a while, but I do plan to upgrade them. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get a big glass enclosure or maybe I'll get one of those like troughs, one of these, uh, what are they for horses to drink out of? What are they called? Either way, I do plan to upgrade their enclosure. So this isn't forever, but for now, just because they needed to get out of that house. And not only is it that it's so big and it takes water and it needs a land as well, like a part of land where turtles can dry out because turtles can't just swim around forever. They need, I have this small little place which is gonna be larger, I'm gonna get more stones and build it up and make it wider, but they need a basking area where they can get completely dry. If they don't, they get things like shell rot and mildew and things like that, and, and like uh, funguses can build on them on their shell and on their skin. So they need to be able to get out of the water, not only for sleeping, mostly, although some of them do sleep in the water, but also just to dry out and to bask because they are ectotherms like a lot of other reptiles. So they need a basking bulb like you see here and they need a UVB bulb as well, which is something that, I mean, if you're a bearded dragon owner, this is normal for you, but your bearded dragon also doesn't need 50 gallons of water in it as well. So just something to consider a little bit extra. And the thing is too, it's a little bit, this is a very small thing, maybe a little bit more dangerous because if this bulb fails and falls into this water, like it's dead turtles and my house is gonna die too probably because of like fire. But as long as you do everything safely, there shouldn't be too much of a concern. I guess just what I wanna do, maybe if you have the room and you have an area where you can have a pond that is cat proof and skunk proof and predator proof, that'd be perfect for a slider and a Mississippi map turtle. Fantastic. In fact, I've thought about making, uh, because I do have the area in my backyard, making not like a pond dug in, but having some sort of pool area and, and making it so like a makeshift pond with uh, some screen netting around it, some wire mesh around it. We'll see. If you want to learn more about outdoor enclosures, uh, just check out this podcast here. I talked to uh, Dylan at Animals at Home about outdoor enclosures and being that I live in Canada, it's a little bit different. If you're into that sort of thing, click the link. And if not, let's just move on to number one. Number one, you just ain't ready. Sometimes you are just not ready for a little bit more complicated animal, which is why until I am as old as I am now, I have not had one of these. I've had bearded dragons, I've had boa constrict, I've had a lot of different types of animals that people would consider intermediate, but I think turtles just, it's this extra thing and be, water is a little bit intimidating to me and maybe it's not for you. So maybe for you, this is the perfect animal. Maybe those four things I just listed don't bother you at all and this actually is a good thing. Those are pros for you. And I'm not saying this is a bad animal for everybody. I'm just saying it's not great for everybody. So maybe it's perfect for you. And for me, I was a little bit reluctant because of the water thing and it's just a little bit more complicated to set up, but maybe you are ready. Maybe turtles are exactly what is the right animal for you. I think everybody is able to care for anything that they want to as long as they put in the time and effort. But for me, I just wasn't willing to put in that time and effort for turtles. Now I've got the time. 
I want to put in the effort. So now I've got some turtles. Yeah, that was a little bit of a week number one, but there you go. That's your top five why you shouldn't get turtles or why turtles might not be good for you or whatever we labeled this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. I actually got this idea from a viewer, Ryan, who gave me the turtles. So if you want to see your idea of what this channel should talk about next week, throw it down there. Every video idea comes out of the comment section below. As always, I want to say thank you to our VIP patrons up here. If you'd like your name here or just like to see silly little vlogs like this one, just go to Patreon. It's as little as a dollar a month. I'd really appreciate the support. And I think that's all the stuff I have to plug. So, because I do videos twice a week, that means I'll see you on Monday. I'm Adam. And I'm Ryan. And this is Wicked's Wicked Reptiles. Goodbye.